Um, so today on today's video, we've got Alison from SAS with us, and this is our first video of 2021. So, um, Yay. Christmas and New Year, nice, good. It was good, quiet as it was for most of us, I yeah, think. I think um, really quiet but, one. but still, you know, got my fair share of uh, binging TV series and things like that in. So, yeah, it was good. I can't get my head around the fact that it was like 25 degrees for you, and we were sitting there like coats and slippers and all that. Was uh, shorts on Christmas? You still, out in Christmas the back you still cook a Christmas dinner? I'm like we I'm did, sweating. we did, we did a prime rib actually. So we went the we went the the red meat route this year. So oh, wow. yeah, it was delicious. Yes. Um, so on top of our Christmas dinner, we've also got something really good to share with you today. We're going to show everyone the SAS uh, phone app on iPhone. Um, now, Ooh. SAS has been able to do it for ages. It's just you and I haven't because we couldn't work out how the tech to do it. How to but share now, the screen with all you all. Yes. Now we can do it. So I will, I will pass it over to you and, and okay. see what it's all about. Excellent. Thanks, everybody. Now, bear with me. I got to, I got to switch over to that particular window. So. I'm going to go ahead and share the screen with you and then screen broadcast. It's all gone very quiet. Okay. It's gone very quiet while well, Alison figures out where the app is. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! Hopefully. Excellent. Because I can't see anything other than my screen, but here we are in the app. So. Um, and yeah, like Emily said, we've never really done a proper introduction to the app, actually showing you the screen and everything. So we thought it might be a good chance to do it. I've been using um, it for about what a year now or something. It's been out for a long time. Yeah, and it's and it's had it's got all the same features that that the um, that the extension has that the web app has, but uh, obviously in in the palm of your hand. So Ooh. as we do with each video, though, got to show you the latest right before we dive in here. So. Well, I know actually, I'll hold on the there's been quite a few updates, I think, haven't they? Yeah, there's been quite a few. And actually, if we go ahead and, um, well, you know what? I'm going to hold on the updates. Let me just start with on the app. Uh, like I said, you got all the same features you have in the other two um, tools. So you can go into your settings just like you would anywhere else. You can, uh, you can create tags, delete tags. You can adjust your settings. Um, you can obviously rearrange your panels, turn them off or on. For those of you that don't know that you can do this, yes, you can rearrange your panels in here. It's pretty handy. Just remember to hit the save button. And again, that'll go across all tools once you make any changes in there. Uh, you've also obviously got access to your history just as you would in the other two uh, tools. Excellent. And history, so history everything that you've scanned, obviously you can filter you can filter by tags you can filter by words um and we'll take you straight into any of the products that you've looked at in the past beloved squirrels are back um as many of you know the news and updates when there's something new it gets put up at the top uh you can exit out once you're done this latest one is socket talking about the sales rank table just a quick update for those of you that may be really familiar with things mm -hmm. in the ranks and prices panel here there was just an update made you always have the ability to check the ranks and prices at the current moment, 30 day history, 90 day history, 180 days, or all, meaning the history of the product that we have access to data on. Um, that was always tucked at the bottom and it often threw people off. So we moved it to the top. So you'll always be able to choose which sort of And I think you've got view. estimated sales on all categories now. Is that, is that there for everyone Yes, now? yes. And the estimated sales are, um, are in on all the categories. It was a little limited before Christmas, but they are all there now. So, yep. And then, of course, um, don't forget that you've always got your refresh if you want to uh, check more recently if the product I'm hasn't been checked in recent history. Scan something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, well, you asked for it, so let's go scanning. Hey, there's my, there's oh. my desktop, everybody. Oh. So we are going to, you know, pick on some favorites of ours here because... Hey, look at that. I even scanned upside down and it worked. How cool is that? Yes, our favorite Heinz baked beans, everybody. So it's simple as, I don't know if you noticed how fast that scan was. Um, it happens even before you get so you the didn't, barcode. You didn't really do that. You literally, that was like, just scan and go. That was literally just now. I just, awesome. yeah, I'll do another one here. So scan another one of our favorites. Look at that. My big fat thumb's in the way and it's still scanning. How cool is that? So oh. yeah, it's as, it's it it Can't picks up that, that barcode. One. It's struggling. It's struggling with the bisto. There we go. <laughs> awesome. So when um, it did the when it did the Heinz, it gave me it mm -hmm. gave you four different variations. 
It did. Why did it do so that? So what it's going to say is please choose the most suitable match here. So it's saying oh. these are the ones that we came up with that seem to match what you're looking for. Um, but it does give you a chance at the bottom if that is not what you're looking for to search um, to search so on a different code. Multi packs, so. two multi packs. Um, you can tell it's an American. If you're it's different American, variants, it's like ounce cans. I haven't seen ounces <laughs> forever. Um, okay, so, so it picks. I was gonna say I'll find one. I'll find one that's a little more evergreen here, such as these guys. Well, there we go. Oh, that there we go. Funny. The yeah, the command, the the don't put nails in your wall pack from 3M. Yeah. Okay, so um, so if I so I always say to you, if you're out and about and you've got the kids or the dog in the car, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, grab your app, scan, scan whatever you see, then run home and, and you can go and look at it on the history because everything crosses. Absolutely, over. then we look back in our history and boom, look, there they all are. Woohoo! And my can of beans is in here. Um, so yeah, and I think that the big thing to point out to everybody, it's not zooming you in. Do the shaky not, thing. Okay. Yes, exactly. So one recent addition was like you said, you're out, you're scanning, you get five million things going on, right? Mm. Um and let's say, okay, great, we're at wherever we are looking at these light bulbs. Okay, awesome. Um my hands are full, or in my case, you get you get something else in your hand, you know, you pick up your next product. Mm -hmm. All you have to do now is shake and it'll go back to the scanning, to the scan feature. Oh, wow. So that's shake. Awesome. And the, the bummer part is I should probably be taking a video of really myself like, shaking the thing it. Is you're not even lining it up. So it's not even like you've got to sit there and no. fiddle and fart around and get it exactly right. You're just kind of like scanning. No, it exactly. Out. In fact, that light bulb, that light bulb was perfect. It wasn't even really in it the view, even... but it's still picking it up. Right. <laughs> so uh, speed is always, obviously, with any of the SaaS features, speed is always critical for us um, mm -hmm. to make it as fast as is humanly possible. Yeah. Um, so, yes. So, so let's play around anything, with the GE anything... lighting. Is there anything that the uh, that you can't do on the app that's going to come soon? Does the app have the same functionality as um, the Chrome extension? The there is one feature that is lacking. Oh, this is not a good product to use. Sorry, everybody. I'm going back to the I'm going back to these guys. They're with just me. Because it's live and real. We haven't kind of prepped it. <laughs> it's live and real. And let's be let's let's be perfectly honest. Some of these products yeah. probably aren't available in the UK because I struggled to find barcodes that were in the UK. So, <laughs> so yeah, just being honest, everybody, as we always are. So, um, yes. Yeah, so within the, um, within the app, the only thing that is missing, which we are working on, I promise you everybody, um, because everybody's kind of, well, yeah, it's just technology, everybody, let me tell you. Um, I, I mean, I guess I should ask, has anybody asked you about anything, Emily, that they didn't see in there? I don't think so. I think there's, I think there's one or two features which aren't on the app just yet, but I think they're, they're on the way. And, yeah, it's, exactly. If it's, if it's missing, it's only because um, there's some technology that's stopping it from being as automatic as we'd like to. <laughs> there's only one of you. You need to clone <laughs> yourself. <laughs> and, and it is. It, it may seem, you know, for them, a lot of these things are easy to get on all three. But interestingly enough, you have to you have to do it differently for the app. So the app building building app capabilities is a lot different than building extension or um, or the web um, version. And you've got to talk. So, so I'm, I'm not very techy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get in over my head in about sure. three words in, but I'll try. So um, you've got <laughs> Google Chrome. So obviously you've got to ask permission mm -hmm. to Google to get the Chrome extension. Then you've got to talk yes. to iPhone uh, and iTunes or whatever iOS or whatever it is to get on iPhone. And then you've got Android. So you've got all these different people have got to agree stuff to make it happen as well, isn't it? It's not as simple as just exactly, that. exactly, and mm -hmm. and um, we you know as as we spec out different features. Um, obviously, that's one thing that we have to look at, and sometimes it becomes a matter of, you know what, yeah, we just have to undertake it and get it on the other two, get it on the other two um, tools first before we get on the mobile. But, but we try to do everything. We try to make everything as as uniform as possible across all the. All well, the I have to say, I've, I've been using it. To, I mean, I can't do any RA now. I'm currently in what my third lockdown um, of this horrible virus. <laughs> So we're oh no! Any RA, and I'm sure people. I'm sure people watch this video in like two years' time, and hopefully it'll be a distant memory. But I have been using the app since I think um, Q4 2019. So it's out and it works. It's not buggy. I, I really like it. So 
Thank you. Well, we appreciate that. And, right. and it, you can tell what I've been searching for over the past few weeks, everybody. Woo -hoo. Oh. Um, you know, getting around it is is just as easy. You know, entering all your information so is just all as of easy. Your, all of your um, things at the top, if you, if you, if you, if you scroll up from it, so you've got your um, square things with all these symbols. Do they all work and what have you? They all still work. They bounce you straight down to that particular panel. You can collapse the panels just like you normally would, uh, just like we're used to doing on the extension or the web app. Are you literally? Um, doing, I mean, all I can see—it looks like it's on screen, obviously, because that's how you how we see. Exactly, because you, you, you literally finger, like moving your yes. phone with your finger. I'm just tapping on the um, gray headers here to to expand them, and the, now I'm just dragging my finger to scroll back up the page and look at the next panel here. So. Um, the other thing I think to keep in mind is um, sometimes because of how apps work again versus um, versus actual uh, clicking technology, so we say, hold on a second, let me find a better product. There's one thing I can show you here. Um, sometimes, whereas in the desktop or the extension, you'll click on something or hover over it. Here, you actually have to just tap it. So if we okay. find a Lego power functions, for example, just need to find an offer panel. Do, do, do. There we go. So oh, okay. um, normally in the offers panel, if you want to see the seller, you hover over it. Obviously, you can't hover over it, really. Um, the phone doesn't know when you're hovering over things. No, so all you would have to do is tap um, to see what those what, what those people are. And is the key information are. still at the top? So as soon as you see it on your phone, you haven't got to scroll to find it, that key click in. You have not. The product, yep, product details are always on the top. And then from there on out, it's however you choose to arrange your panels. So That's really good. Another thing yes. else is that I, when I've used it on my iPhone, I found it didn't particularly drain my battery. So um, I could go out no. could do three, four, five shots, maybe spend a couple of hours out and, and I still had plenty of battery. So I'm yeah, quite I know. with that. Sometimes apps can be a bit heavy and drain it really quickly. Well, I was going to say, even, even the Amazon app when you're out scanning it, yeah, scanning yeah. products yeah. using the Amazon app can be really, really battery draining, can't it? So thank you. Yeah, that's a good but point. No, see, Very see, good point. Yeah, I don't think I've run out of anything like that. That's really awesome. That's yeah. really good. That's really exciting. So that is that. Is that. Excellent. Oh, one other question. Sorry, does it look identical on um, Android and iPhone? It does. It looks absolutely identical. Yep. And all the updates are done on both devices. So you're never just getting an update on one or the other. They're always done oh, in, in, at the same time. So yep, everything. We won't put it out there unless it's got unless it's on both platforms. Excellent. Now we know we, we are we, right. we are equal opportunity when it comes to mobile technology. Yeah, awesome. And since they're the only two real providers, aren't they? Or of any sort of ones that are mainstream, aren't they? Just um, Android yeah, and iPhone. Yeah, they're the, they're the only ones that are mainstream. And um, I mean, you could, if you really wanted to, log into log into the desktop app on your Google Chrome on your phone and do it that way. But really, you won't be able to see anything. It'll be so small. So one for get you. the app. Is, is there any <laughs> reason why you couldn't go into your favorite supermarket? And literally just scan like half a row of something, scan, 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 over and over and over and over and over, yeah. and then go yeah. home and analyze them all. No, I was going to say, you don't have to analyze on the spot. Um, you know, the quick info panel will give you those highlights. But say you want to monkey around with your ROI or your profit or something like that, you don't have to do it there because everything will be in your history. So but go back in part, once you can sit down in front of your computer and really look at it again. Sure. But the flip side to that is that if you're standing in Tesco's and they've got like a slash price on toys or Lego or something, you can yeah. very quickly see whether it's worth picking them up. Really you quickly see. Long analysis absolutely. Short, can't you? absolutely. Absolutely. Very quick glance. Um, also, you know, if you're in a situation where maybe there's two of you, you know, maybe you got somebody out in the store scanning and you got somebody, you got a desk jockey doing OA. Um, your your OA person's going to be able to oh, see what they're out there yeah, scanning because so cool. the history is updating instantly. So and so I could maybe so, so you could be out with your phone. I could be in the desktop, and yeah. as long as we're logged into the same SaaS. Yeah. How, how many SaaS, How many people can log in? How many people are you allowed to have with your subscription? It, it depends on your package. So for you, for let me choose. Yeah, easy for me to say, right? <laughs> for you, for, yeah. Can I can I speak now? We'll try. Is that a requirement of this year. Okay. Um, for the folks that are just on the getting started package, um, yeah. where you have up to a thousand scans a month, um, you get one phone app, phone, one phone app install. 
and then two Chrome extension installs and one web app, one web app active Perfect. person. That's, that's plenty, I think, for most people. That, yeah, that for, do, for like, most people. Do one seller and, and maybe someone who's got a VA, that could, that could work quite well yeah. for someone. Yeah. Exactly. If you're going to have multiple people out there scanning or you want to scan and have your assistant scan, then you're going to need to upgrade to the Getting Serious, which is still only 16 pounds a month. So not that much of a, yeah. Excellent. We'll have, um, we'll have to post a challenge and people can tell us their funniest um, RA stories using the app. That's a great that's idea. A that's a great example. idea. I'll give you mine. So, so, I, so I've got I've got a 13 year old little girl. And you know what 13 year old girls, they care what people think of them. And I sat there and I scanned cho the dark Terry's chocolate orange just before Christmas. And of course, it was a really good offer. So I was plowing all these chocolate oranges, filling up my trolley. And my daughter was mortified because she thought everyone thought we were going to eat them all and get really fat. <laughs> my poor, she didn't know where to hide. She's in the shop going, Mum, stop putting them in the trolley. Oh, That's no. Nice so I think we'll have, to, we'll have to do some sort of competition where the funniest story involving a scanned, um, a scanned product. Along the same lines of the chocolate orange, I did actually hear somebody who did the same thing a few years back and, and took, them home, took them home to, to where they did their, um, they did their shipping and uh, the dogs got a hold of them. No! <laughs> Oh my god! Dogs are okay. Don't worry. No dogs were harmed in the process. But yes. <laughs> no, no, oh indeed. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. We have to do some sort of <laughs> when when uh, when RA is back in the UK, uh, we should have to do yes. some sort of fun challenge because I can't wait for it personally. That would be. I think <laughs> in the meantime, I think in the meantime, you should ask about fun RA stories just to remind yeah, us. Yeah, just lighten the mood a little bit. Yourself. I think. I think. Yeah, I think yeah. it's quite good. I think that's a great awesome. idea. So exciting. Cool. So thank you very much for that. But it's, it's yes, yeah, so it's been a good start to our to our year to learn all about the app and for people to see it working. So that's quite quite fun. Yes, absolutely. And um, nobody gets to see my face this time, but have no, a good, a good no, January, everybody. Good Happy fun. OA, I should say. Yeah, awesome. Brilliant. Perfect. Thank you so much, Alison. I look forward to catching up with you again next week. Take yes. care. Thanks, everybody.